Miss, uh, I, uh, I haven't had any food in a couple of days, and, uh, I was wondering maybe you, uh, you might be able to spare me a little something. I'm awfully hungry. Hey, uh, see a star up there? That's you. Hey, uh, uh, what's, what's a little girl like you, uh, doing not so late at night? I mean, do you, 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 you live around here? No, I don't. You, uh, you thumbing? Pardon? Uh, hit you. Yes. Oh. Cops will get you for that, you know. They'll throw you right in jail. Uh, where, where, where about you headed? Los Angeles. Oh, that's a long way. I, uh, I, I don't want to shake you up, sis, but, uh, I heard some bad stories on the road. No, really. Robbing, kidnapping. Tell you rackets. The Man Act wears a lot of people too, see. So they don't pick you up. And, and, and a girl like you, you know, even if you if you did get a ride, somebody trying to take advantage of you, rob you. I've, I've even heard of girls getting killed. You should have taken a bus. Hey, maybe you can still get on one. Uh, how much money you got? Forty-three dollars. Well, forty-two dollars now. Not enough. Gee, I, uh, I don't know what to tell you, sis. You know, I, I just hate to see the cops get you because they're going to send you right back home. You could even end up in a reformatory. You're just a kid. I'm seventeen. Oh, it's minor, eh? 
really sucked. I don't know what to tell you. Hey. I might be able to get you there. See, it'd be slow, but, uh, but it'd be sure. See, I'm, I'm going to San Diego. And uh, I, I have to pass right through L.A. Well, um... What's, what's, what's the matter? What? Well, it's nothing. Um, well, what? Uh, it's nice of you to offer, but I really don't think well, I'd better. Hey, no, no, wait a minute. Hey, hey listen. Hey, kid. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, kid? Yes? So there's, there's a couple of cops just pulled up in the patrol car out here, and they're talking to the attendant. So you better stay where you are until they're gone, okay? I I'll let you know when they're clear, okay? You hear me? You hear me? Yes, all right. All right, all right just keep quiet. Out now they're gone. Hey, listen, let's step over this restaurant because they might double back, okay? So, what's your name? Daphne. Yeah. What's yours? Fargo. Say, uh, honey, would you uh, would you bring the check? Fargo what? Just Fargo. What do you do? Pick. I, uh, pick beans, berries, you know, anything. You mean you travel from place to place? Yeah. Thanks. Well, how do you travel? Uh, by rail, mostly. Do you have any relatives? No. Are you an orphan? Yeah. Did you mean it when you said you'd help me get to Los Angeles? Yeah. Uh, you still want me to take you? Well, how long do you think it'd take us to get there? Week, I guess. Week, ten days, if we're lucky. Uh, so you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't have a half buck on you, but you know, uh, kind of run over. Come on. You still mad about that two bucks? It's not the two dollars. It's just that when people start drinking two whiskey, they... Two crummy bucks. You talk me out of two dollars for a bottle. It's not the money. Hey, uh, I can't take it back. You could throw it away. What? 
I said you could throw it away. I'll throw you away first. Come on. You ever flip one of these? Come on now. I'll show you how. Come on. Okay, yeah. Uh... Uh, let me see you run. Can you can you run good? Sis, uh, you're gonna stay mad at me. We're gonna have to split right now. Okay. Pretty good. Come in. Now you see, in case you don't go up the car, you gotta run along the side and get one of these ladders. Now you run as fast as you can, you see, and you grab with two hands. You get a good grip, see. Then you swing yourself to the side like this, and don't swing back, you see, and don't lose your grip because you might smash yourself or hurt yourself or something, see? Okay, try it. Good grip now. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Come in. You're gonna open the car like this, see, you run alongside. Like this. Come on, see, you run alongside. And I grab your hand now. Swing up with me. Yeah, that's it. Isn't there a danger of getting hurt? You got another hurt. Now we gotta get rid of that bag. Well, no, I've got all no, my no, stuff no, no, in no, there no, that I need. No, 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 no well, you better put it in your pocket, sis, because you could lose it, you know. I haven't got any pockets. Want these? Yes. What about this other junk? Well... Is that it? <laughs> Why don't you wear my jacket, huh? You can, uh, you can put that stuff in the pockets, okay? All right, thank you. Come on. Hey. Anything happen in the yard? I don't know, but you can ask that fellow over there by the fire. Thanks. What's the scene, Bull? Nothing much. Nothing much. Any freights going through here? Well, east or west? West. Well, it's 440 be through here in a couple of hours. We can hold her down. We ride in style all the way down into St. Louis. True. I got disc off the B and O. I carried the banner two nights. I laid off the stem. Bulls every foot of the way. <laughs> I know what you mean. I don't. It's all right, Sid. Take good care of you.
Okay, come on out here. Come on, young lady. Come on. Hurry up. Come on out here. Come down. Anybody else in here? No. Okay, let's go. going to get fed, and then we're going to take you out and drop you over the county line. And furthermore, if any of you are ever picked up in this area again, it's going to mean six months in the county workhouse. Do you understand that? You there. What's your name? Daphne. Your last name? Collins. How old are you? Seventeen. Thirteen would be more like it. Have you got any identification? It's my wife. That's her wallet. How long have you been married? Three months. Have you got a license? We send here with our stuff. What's your name? Collins. Okay, take him out. All right, man, let's go. Keep moving. Now. 
you to walk. Where to? Anywhere you want to walk. Don't ask me. Come on, can't we slow down just a little? Where are we going? We ain't going nowhere. All right, then give me back my stuff. Down. I just thought I'd wash them for you. I don't want them more, stupid. Put them down and beat it. Fargo, I'm sorry. I'm not angry with you. In fact, I'm grateful. It was clever of you to say we were married. Yeah, thanks. If you want the money, you can keep it. <laughs> what money? What happened to it? The Blaisdell cops got it. How did you know? I know, I know. Hey, sis. Huh? You ever see my naked? What? You ever see my naked? Well, you're gonna see one if you don't get out of here. No, wait a minute. Fargo, I have to get to Los Angeles. You promised. I know now all you wanted was the money. But if you want to make a lot of money, you'll take me to Los Angeles. Huh? How much? Two hundred dollars. Maybe more. Got it on you? My father will give it to you when we get to Los Angeles. Yeah, sure. You're, uh, you're bumming it on the road and your old man's gonna give me 200 bucks. I know it sounds funny. Funny? Hysterical. I thought you said you folks in New York. No, those are the Sims, the people that adopted me. I mean my real father, James Collins. Look, here he is. James Collins. Fields Piano Store. Chairman elect of the National Piano Institute. How do I know that's your old man? What's the name? Look, sis. My name's Warren. That don't mean my old man's a Supreme Court. Look, uh, here he is with my mother on the day they were married. Where is your old lady? Your mother. She died when I was five. When's the last time you saw your old man? I never have. You see... Uh, my mother always told me he was killed before I was born. Then last month I saw his picture in the paper. Did you write him? Yes. 
Did he answer you? No, he didn't. Sounds like he's crazy about you. He might have been injured during the war. It's possible that his memory was affected. Amnesia. Yeah, yes, yes, that's very good. It must have been something like that or he would have come back home. Come on, sis. Don't lay the scam on me. Father, please, listen. Why else would he stop writing like that? They got writer's cramp or something. Look, these are the letters. My mother saved them all. These are all I've got of a real father. Why'd you get money from your folks in New York to go and see him? I asked them, but they said no. They've been against my trying to contact him from the beginning. When I showed them the picture from the paper, well, they said it was a coincidence, just a bad photograph. Maybe they're right. Listen. Listen what he says in, it, in the last letter he wrote to my mother. Hey, sis, I don't, I don't want to hear it. My darling wife, we've had so little time together, and I ache so much to hold you and our unborn baby in my arms just once in my life. And if the devil popped up right now, I'd make a bargain with him. He could have anything. Even my life, which just now isn't very much. So many of our guys have gone now. I'm sorry. You must have troubles of your own. I miss you so much. Someday soon we'll all be together again. I only wish there was some way that I could be with you now. But you know I'm with you always in my heart. Hey. Can it, will you, sis? Fargo? Will you please take me to Los Angeles? No. I'll tell you, sis. There ain't nothing there. I'm not going back. I want to be with my father. All right, get your junk. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go. What's the matter? If I was home now, I'd be sleeping. Well, why don't you go home then? Oh, I'm just not used to it Well, yet. get used to it. They're not shipping any empties. Now, you go first. I'm going to have to ride the ladders. If you get on that ladder, you better grab it tight. You hear me? All right, come on.
Hey, uh, you wait here. I'm going to see if I can get you a pair of pants. Are you coming back? Yeah. Yeah, I said I was. I'm your best defense, you know. What does that mean? If you don't come back, I'm going to the police and tell them everything. Well, what is it to tell? That I've been traveling with you and you tried to steal my money. <sighs> you know, you must want to get to see your old man pretty badly. I do. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Everybody's sorry. Fargo, if you really want to leave, you can go on. You don't think I'd really go to the police? Look, I didn't mean those things I said. I just said them because I didn't think you were coming back. You didn't intend to come back, did you? I'll be all right now. You can go on. Yeah, well, you can make it on your own. I mean, uh, you can feel pretty good for a girl. I've been waiting for you to say that. Yeah, I noticed. Guess I had a pretty good teacher. <clears throat> yeah, well, uh... You just follow the line up until you get the next town. You can get a ride into KC. What's KC? Kansas City. From there, you, uh, kiss the Rock Island to Denver, Colorado. And, uh, catch a Santa Fe south to L.A. Otherwise, you'll end up in Sacramento. Okay. Remember that? Get to Kansas City, take the Rock Island to Denver, and south on the Santa Fe to Los Angeles. I won't forget. How are you going to eat? 
work, I guess. Ah, uh, you waste a lot of time doing that. Just a day now and then. Enough to eat on. Why'd you say all that before? Because I wanted you to come back. Why? Because I like you. Yeah? I mean, you're, you're fun and clever and... I think you have a lot of courage. So I feel a little sorry for you. Uh, sorry for me. You know, I think you've been hurt a lot. What's the sense of this? Fargo, thanks for everything. Good luck with the old man. Thanks. Hey, where do you think you're going to go now? Oh, I'll go to <clears throat> New Orleans. I can always get by there. Hey, Fargo. You see that sun up there? That's you. I think we're fine fucks. Hey, look, I'll tell you what. I'll give it to you for 50 cents. 50 cents. For the kids, man. For the kids. Hey, a quarter. Hey, you want to buy a pen? 50 cents? Spare me just a little bit of your time. Now, listen to me. I'm trying to get a few bucks so I'll get a room tonight and something to eat. Take a walk. Will you, fella? Take a walk. Hey, look, I'm, I'm, I got a job starting tomorrow morning, man. All I need is like 50 cents or a quarter. Take a walk. What have I done? Uh, hey. hey, lady. Listen, I just got out of the hospital. I have been feeling the good. I'm trying to get car for the mission. My mother and dad, they're very sick. Now, look, I got a car. I got, I got a present for it. A car. A dollar. How about a pen? 
Hey, you. What do you want? You got a quarter on you? Why do you need a quarter? Because I need a quarter. Hey, hey, buddy. Come in. I want to tell you a little story. Listen. Coming out from New York, I was, I was with a bunch of guys. And they took all of my clothes. So, all, all, no, all, all I need is about four bits. You got four bits on you? You better hurry up. We got a car here in a couple hours. Fargo? Huh? Do you like me? You're all right. Have you loved many women? Look, sis. You better start eating. Don't call me sis. I don't like it anymore. Okay. My name's Daphne. Okay. I hate you. Yeah, I know him. I don't hate you, Fargo. Yeah, I know him. Fargo. If you don't start eating, I'm gonna cram it down your crawl. I love you. Did you hear what I said? You don't know what you're talking about. I'm 17, Fargo. That's old enough. You old enough, but you ain't big enough. You think you always have to be so mean and insulting? Fargo, what's gonna happen to you? Oh. Other people, and nice houses, and dinner, and children. Fine. Best of luck to her. Fargo, you can't just. You want that? Huh? Do you love me? Listen, why don't you go back down to the washroom, huh? You can uh, talk all you want back there. You can hear yourself all you want. There's a nice echo back there. 
just talk to yourself all day long, okay? I don't want to hear it. You want to hear it, you go back there, okay? Yeah. Come on. Knock it off. What can I do for you? My wife needs a pair of shoes. See the Reverend over there. Wait here, huh? Sometimes I'm burned. I haven't got long to stay. My Lord. Lord. You hungry? No, I'm just tired, it's all. I got a couple of bucks. Let's see if we can get us room, okay? All right.
Do you love me? Don't ask me. you want. You want to get married, find a place, kids, school, the whole shot. I never make it. I got nothing. I got nothing to give you. I don't know. Maybe it's I'm a loser. Freak. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's in the stars, maybe it's fate or something, I don't know. Just, uh... Just never turns out the way it's supposed to. It's okay. You can be anything you want to. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Maybe my father'd give you a job when we get to Los Angeles. Hey, he's not, he's not getting a job. It's, it's a whole other thing. I'm a bum, you know? That's the way I'm supposed to go. Why don't, why don't we just forget it, huh? I can't love you. if you've been doing this? What? Just traveling around from place to place. I've been on the road all my life. Are you really an orphan? Yeah, I guess so. My little man's in jail. My mom's dead. What was she like? Uh, I don't remember too well anymore. Uh, she had a lot of faith or something. Uh, 
Maybe just guts. You know, about, about five days after I was born, she was out picking berries like nothing happened. How did she die? She fell. She uh, fell on an apricot tree and broke her back. Oh. I'm sorry. That's all right. You just keep going from nowhere to nowhere. Fargo, what's going to happen to you when you get older and you can't run so fast? Don't you ever feel that you need somebody? Somebody. You know, my mom could have nice things. She could have an easy way to go. A lot of guys want to marry her. A lot of guys. But they didn't want the kid. They didn't want me. I never got to take off. No, I wanted my mama. She wound up in her neighbor country. You've got that all upside down. Love isn't something that hurts people. You got it upside down. I got it straight. You got it upside down. Love's nowhere. Fargo. Hey, wh why, why don't you, uh... Why don't you go and look out the door or something, huh? I'm tired, all right?
Give him one of these every four hours. Thank you. Is he going to be all right? Just a fever. You know, he's strong. And when the fever goes, he's going to be good again. Now, keep him warm. And don't forget the pills. Don't forget, eh? Creo, doctor. Bueno, no importa. Si necesita, me llama. Sí, cómo no.
Have a slow day, is that right? Folks, uh, is there James Collins here? Mr. Collins? Are you sure there's nothing I can do for you? Yeah, I'd like to see Collins. Oh, well, <laughs> sure. Uh, his office is up the stairs to the right. Why don't you go on a 
of it here. Okay. I'm a little afraid. Now, Bill, I put the check in the mail this morning. You should have it sometime tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Give my best to your wife. Yeah. Thanks, Bill. Can I help you? I'm Daphne. This is Bill Warren, my father. Hi, Bill. I'd have never gotten to Los Angeles if it wasn't for Bill. Well, Bill, I want to express my appreciation for everything you've done for Daphne. Honey, I, I think you'd better run along. I'll see you tomorrow. I didn't come to cause any trouble. No trouble. What did he say? Not very much. He was pretty busy. We were both a little awkward, I guess. He called the Frostonia Hotel and made reservations. He gave me fifty dollars. I'm supposed to call him again tomorrow at noon. He said we'd spend the afternoon together. You still think he's your old man? Well, yes, I'm sure he is. You ask him about his memory. No. Sure. Yes. <laughs> what are you blushing about? Will you get out of here? Hey. What? I'm going to have some coffee. Okay. Thank 
Yes? You Billy Warren? My name's Sims. I'm Daphne's father. You mind if I sit down? My wife and I just arrived from New York. Daphne told me you were down here, so I thought we might have a little talk. You know, just man to man. Collins called us last night in New York. We contacted him right after she ran away. We knew where she was going. We want to take Daphne back to New York with us. Well, what does Collins have to say about that? Collins? He doesn't want her. Oh, he's a real father, isn't he? Yes. But it's not like Daphne thinks it is. My wife and I tried to hide the truth from her. You see, there was no real tragic romance between her mother and father. They only knew each other a few days. What about the letters? Her mother wrote them. She tried to create a father for a little girl who didn't have a father. She's all that my wife and I have now. We married too late to have our own children. Couldn't even adopt a baby. That's when we decided to settle for Daphne. Settle for second best, you might say. But we were wrong. We got first best. Somehow it's as if we've had her all her life. I know it sounds silly, but I even imagined at times holding her on my knee when she was two or three years old, going out and buying her first dress. Just like we had her all her life, just as if she was really our own. story on, on Daffy, don't you? Yeah? Mm-hmm. See, what, uh, she didn't tell you was that, uh, we were planning to get married. No, she didn't. Yeah. Well, what, what we were, uh, hoping for was that, uh, you, you might be able to help us. I mean, uh, give me a job, a truck, nothing, nothing big. You see, I've, uh, I've never been able to, uh, to get a start anywhere. We, we were hoping that you might be able to. Well, I'm sorry, I can't, I just can't. You're, uh, you're a daddy, ain't you? You're, you're, you're the one in the picture. No, yes, I am. But I've got a family, Will. I've got a wife and two children. What do I tell them? I know this whole thing looks pretty awful to you, but really, it's not that bad. I mean, it's wartime. A young kid alone in a big, strange city. I mean, a very... Lovely woman, warm, friendly, spend a couple of wonderful days together. 
And then years later, a, a grown girl walks into your office. She's your baby. Yes, but I don't feel like a father. I mean, the sins are much more family to her than I could ever hope to be. What do you want me to do, Bill? Take her home to my wife and children and ask them to understand? Hey, we just, uh, we just wanted to start. We'll, we'll stay out of your way. Oh, really, I wish there was something I could do for you, but I... No, you don't. You wish we'd all blow away. To have you blow away. The Sims will see to that. You being a clear, that's what you want, isn't it? I can't make you understand, can I? Yeah. Yeah, sure, I understand. Oh, I want you to tell me what's going to happen to that girl. What's going to happen to her feelings? Uh, I would like to help you, though. Hey. I don't want that for me. I don't, I don't need it. I want you to tell me what's going to happen to that girl when she finds out. Huh? I guess I don't know. You're the boy that hits. I'm the boy that falls down. Squat and, uh... You just slip us a few bucks. It's not that way at all. Hey, what you call it? Well, I think you'd better leave. I have tried to make you under... Ow! Oh! Oh! Give me real. Why well, don't we just forget it, huh? You go back to New York. You go back home. Why did you do it? I wanted my 200 bucks off the piano man, okay? He wouldn't come up with it. That's the story. That's it. I don't believe you. Okay. You don't believe me. I want you to tell me the truth. Please, Fargo. You want to hear the truth? You really want to hear it, huh? Do you? Yes. All right. That real daddy of yours doesn't want you. He never wrote any letters. Your mother wrote them herself. She made up a whole story for you. What about the pictures? There are no buts. They stayed together a few days. They only knew each other for a little while. There was no love. There was no amnesia. There was no letters. There was no killed in the war. It's all a bunch of garbage. You got it straight now. Yeah. 
We can go now. Go where? See what we have to do. About what? About us. There ain't no us. You won't even try? For what? This morning you... You wanted a job. Hey, nobody works me. Nobody. I work them. You get it? You want to come with me? On the road? Yeah. What about our babies? Okay. Forget it. We're the wrong two people. You go home, you go back to New York, you find you a nice guy that takes the babies and the bills and all that jazz. I don't want it. All right. But don't you ever blame anyone else for making you a bum. Oh, Fargo. Other people have had hard lives. They tell you you're no good. And you say, that's right, I'm no good. They say you don't deserve anything. He said, that's right, I don't. Right. You don't love me. Hey. You listen to me. What I ever tell you wrong? Huh? What? I never make it, sis. I never make it. We've been each other's way. We just... Sometimes to love someone is more difficult. If you came to New York, I'd do everything I can to help you. Thanks. Okay, buddy, that's it. Closing up. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey.
what happened to the folks? They went back. How are we going to make it? I don't know. Are you hungry? 